One of the great things about voice coding with Visual Studio Code is that it has a million commands and the commands all have a nice unique identifier that you can use to run them. As part of the Talon extension pack that you install when you first start using VS Code with Talon, there is something called the command server, which enables you to just give a command ID and have Talon automatically run that command. And it's really easy to map a voice command to any VS Code command that way, which gives you a lot of power pretty cheaply. Now, uh, this video isn't uh, properly a cursorless video. It's more about just uh, voice coding using Talon and VS Code, but I promise there will be a little cursorless twist at the end. So let's say there's some command that I really like and I want to map it to a voice command so I can easily access it. So as an example, I'm going to use the join lines command, okay? So let's see how we can run that. So the first few times you run a command, you're not sure whether you're going to use it a lot. Um, you Here's how you can run it, right? You can say please and then any text that you want. And that will just search the command palette for all commands which have that in their name, okay? So let's do that. We're going to say please join to see what sort of commands there are which have join in the name. Please join. Drowse. Okay. It's the first one that popped up. Um, and so you can see VS Code will show you um, if there already is a key binding for it. So if you wanted to, you could just say control Jane or whatever you have mapped for J. Um, maybe it's, I guess jury would be the default, control jury. Um, for me, it'd be troll Jane. Um, but let's say we wanted to map that to something just called join or join lines, okay? Um, so first of all, let's just run it from the command palette, which is the way to do it when you don't have anything mapped for it. So I would just press enter here, clap, drowse. And you can see uh, it joined the lines. Cool. So let's say we want to be able to just say join or join lines. Okay. Um, so I'm going to show you the first way to do it, which requires you to use an eye tracker or a mouse. Um, uh, so let's take a look at how that looks. So, nope. Please join. Drowse. Okay. So we have this command here, right? I'm going to reach for my mouse. Um, uh, so notice this little settings thing here. You click on that and that will take you into here and then you can right click here and say copy command ID. Now we have the command ID in our clipboard. Let's map it to a voice command. So the way you do that is in the VS code.talon file. You can either just directly edit the one in Knaus J, though a lot of people to avoid merge conflicts will create their own separate one which just has the same context at the top and their own set of voice commands. I'm going to be directly editing the Knaus J one because um, that's how I tend to operate, but uh, you do you. Um, so let's open up that file. Popdoc vancake point talon. Drowse. Uh, yeah, um, I have mapped vancake to VS Code <laughs> on my own repo because I find it recognizes a little bit more reliably than VS Code, although other people say they have no problem. Um, so, okay. So I'm going to uh, make a new line at the end. Um, so this is going to be uh, a cursorless command here will be pour file, right? So pour inserts a new line after some target. File refers to the entire file, right? So pour file will insert a new line after the file. And then I'm going to say clap, which is my version of enter, right? So I'll make a new line and then enter afterwards, right? This is a short chain. Pour file clap. Drowse. Okay, cool. You see we ended up indented, um, so we can say whatever your version of delete is on your branch, uh, mine is scratch, right? Um, and then we're going to say the name of the voice command. Uh, so let's just say um, uh, join lines. Um, okay. Um, scratch phrase join lines. Drowse. Okay, so now we have the voice command, colon, and then the action is how you do things in Talon, right? Stack void. Drows. Um, I use stack for colon, find it recognizes a bit better, and void for space, find it recognizes a bit better. Um, okay, so then we're going to use the dotted formatter, um, right? So I'm going to say dotted user vancake. Um, uh, user, uh, so vancake is my VS Code, and dotted will just take all the words, join them by dots. And then I'm going to do a quick chain. I have round as something mapped, which um, inserts empty parens, right? Um, so let's do that, right? So I'm going to say dotted user vancake round drowse. And you can see um, I ended up with, um, sorry, my subtitles are blocking. <laughs> uh, you can see I ended up here, right? Center this drowse. Let's put it up in the middle. Um, center this being a cursorless command to center your current line. 
Um, okay, so then I am going to just um, paste the command ID, right? So I'll say quad, which is my way to put empty quotes, and then I'll say paste that. Quad paste that, drowse. Okay, cool. So we can save this, and now we have a join lines command. Let's give that a shot. So I'm going to um, jump up to the sleep uh, over here, and I'm going to say join lines. Disk. Take pit. Join lines. Drowse. Cool. Um, so uh, I promised a cursorless way to do uh, a cursorless twist at the end. Um, so let's take that same command ID and we can use customization in cursorless to make it so that now we have a cursorless version of the same command. Okay. I'm going to do another video which really goes, does a deep dive on customization. Um, so uh, this is going to be kind of a preview. I'll leave a link to the customization docs, which um, hopefully we'll be clear enough to get started, but I'm just going to give you a, a quick demo of how we can turn this um, into a cursorless command. Um, and as a matter of fact, uh, I already have join as a cursorless command, so I can just show you um, what it looks like, how I defined it. So basically there's a CSV, which allows you to define a list of your custom commands. So let's, let's pop there and take a look, okay? Nope. Chuck block Jane. Drowse. Um, that was just to delete uh, what we just did. Um, so now let's let's pop to the file. Disk. List doc custom. Pick three. Drowse. So there's this CSV called actions custom, um, and that's in your the experimental directory under cursorless settings. And you can see here on the left, there's the spoken form. And on the right, there is the name of a VS code command, right? So that I would have pasted in the thing I had on my clipboard. On the left, I say whatever term I want, I want it to use join. And now I can say, for example, let's say I wanted to join these two lines. I can just say join and target the first one. Join near, drowse. And you can see it joins those two lines together. Um, and it takes a full cursorless target, right? So I could use it to join three lines if I wanted to. Nope. Pre-file. Drowse. Okay, drop my cursor at the top. Pre moves before something. File is the entire file. So pre-file moves me before the file. And now let's join those last three lines, right? Join Jane past end of file. Drowse. There you go. Um, cursorless version of join. You can do this all sorts of things. I personally, you can see, nope, push, drowse. I have join, increment, decrement, but um, uh, the sky's the limit. Um, there's all sorts of things you can do. Um, if you are a Clojure uh, user, um, I know some Clojure users wanted to use this for something like slurp uh, and barf, <laughs> um, which are apparently uh, Clojure... Um, or ways of editing closure uh, parenthesized scopes. And so you could just put a spoken form slurp and then the command ID of the, um, I think it's called paredit, uh, maybe. Um, I might have got the name wrong there. The one for the extension for closure, which allows you to um, perform this action. You just put the command ID there and now you could just say slurp air, barf air, whatever. Um, I'm not a closure user, so that still sounds gross to me. But I, if you are a closure user, you probably, uh, <laughs> um, this sounds normal. Um, so yeah, that's all for today. Um, uh, please let me know um, if you have any questions in the comments. If you have any uh, really cool actions, uh, uh, commands that you have mapped in custom or that you, um, I would love to hear about those and maybe I'll steal them. Um, thanks for listening. Happy coding. Record stop.